Welcome, dear friends, to our time of devotional reflection for Wednesday, December the 20th, 2023. I'm Brian J. Monroe, pastor of Kitimat First Baptist Church in beautiful Kitimat, British Columbia. This year, I've been reading for us the, uh, the readings from John F. MacArthur Jr.'s devotional book, Drawing Near, Daily Readings for a Deeper Faith. Today's entry is entitled, Throwing Out the Anchor. From the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 2, verse 1, I read this. For this reason, we must pay much closer attention to what we have heard, lest we drift away from it. Pastor MacArthur's main thought for today is, God's word is the anchor that will prevent people from drifting past the harbor of salvation. He writes, when English explorer William Edward Perry and his crew were exploring the Arctic Ocean, they needed to go further north to continue their chartings. So they calculated their location by the stars and began a treacherous march. After many hours, they stopped exhausted. After taking their bearings, they discovered they were now further south than when they'd started. They'd been walking on an ice flow that was traveling faster south than they were walking north. That is similar to the situation that people who continue rejecting Christ find themselves in. Therefore, Hebrews chapter 2 verse 1 says, we must pay closer attention to what we have heard, lest we drift away from it. Why would anyone knowingly reject Christ? He came into the world as God incarnate, died on a cross to bring us forgiveness for our sins, paid our penalty, showed us divine love, and gives us blessing and joy beyond imagination. The Greek words translated pay much closer attention to and drift away from both have a nautical usage. The first means to tie up a ship, and the second can be used of a ship that has been carelessly allowed to drift past the harbor because the sailor forgot to attend to the steerage or to the chart, the wind, the tides, and current. Hebrews chapter 2, verse 1 could be translated, We must diligently anchor our lives to the things that we have been taught, lest the ship of life drift past the harbor of salvation and be lost forever. Most people don't deliberately, deliberately turn their backs on God. They almost imperceptibly slip past the harbor of salvation and are broken on the rocks of destruction. Be sure to warn those you know who might be slipping past that harbor. Dear friends, as always, I thank you for taking just a few minutes out of your day to hear me read one of Pastor MacArthur's excellent devotionals. It's always a great joy for me to do this. Now, I've taken his suggestions for prayer and for further study that are attached to this devotional, and I've put them in the description area of the video so that you can have them and read them, interact with them, gain the additional insight and understanding that reside there. I pray you'll do that. I also pray that you'll be with me tomorrow when I read the next entry in his excellent book. And until then... May you go in the grace and the peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ.